Hey y'all, I get asked a lot of questions about Cerakote and its applications and, and uses because it's something that I do. And uh, I thought I would take the opportunity uh, of some of those questions and make a video demonstrating uh, one of many of its applications. So we're gonna apply this type of work to the uh, uh, automotive field. We're gonna work on exhaust. So we're gonna use a, piece of, a small piece of uh, exhaust pipe tubing for this uh, demonstration. Uh, it'll show the, uh, the reliability and the toughness of, uh, of Cerakote, this particular product. So what we need to do is get this uh, works really clean, cleaned up really good, prepped, coated, cured, and then we'll uh, put it through the ringer and uh, let y'all make your own decisions. Let's get started. So when we blast it, we're not using the blaster to clean the metal. All we need to do is put a slight texture in it where it gives the, uh, the coating uh, room to, or, or a surface to which it here. And we spray. Now we'll let this cure, and then we'll perform some tests on this stuff so you can see uh, just how durable it is. Hey y'all, well, we're all cured. Here's our piece of pipe. Coating Cerakote. This is Glacier Black. So what we're gonna do now is uh, put through a couple little stress tests to show you how durable this stuff is. Um, first thing I'm gonna do is get this rosebud going and we're gonna heat this thing up and try to cook the coating off of it. Okay, so pretty hot. Let's just go ahead and cool it off real quick. We got a bunch of stuff in the water, but that's all. That's all soot from the inside. I don't think paint powder coat is going to uh, compare to that. Okay, we got it cooled off in the bucket out of the way. Here with a natural sunlight that's coming up through here. So you can see what it looks like. Can't see much on the inside, but there's a lot of, sorry about that, a lot of soot. See it built up right. See that? That's all soot from me cooking this stuff. Let's 
So how would it take to a few licks? See if that might break some of it off. Well, you see hitting it with a sledgehammer like that to fold it in has marred it. That's gonna happen on anything. You do that with bare metal, but you don't see any of it breaking off. It's all still right there. Side we haven't messed with. Get us a wire brush on that. It's working on it. Remember, we have cooked this and beat it. So we got a little bit of, there's still a coating on here. Very slight, but it's not completely clean metal. So it's not as if you put this stuff on and it's never gonna come off. But, I dare say that paint, again, or powder coating is gonna hold up to anything like that. Okay, so ends our uh, impromptu, uh, unscientific uh, test of uh, Cerakote's Glacier Series uh, coating. It's what is used for things that are going to be under uh, um, a good amount of heat. They protect it very, very well. Um, this did pretty good, I think. I heated it up to where it was glowing red on the inside, which I don't know what temperature that was, but it's, you saw instantly put it in the water and in putting it in the water um, affected the coating, not at all. It, it, you couldn't tell anything, which is pretty impressive. When I put the sledgehammer to it, only the places where the sledgehammer physically hit the metal, which is a good, you know, metal on metal shearing um, force, uh, it removed the coating, but it didn't crack the coating. It didn't uh, splinter it. It o only where it made the physical contact. And the same with the wire brush. Uh, as is the nature of the wire brush, the reason we use it is to remove things. So it eventually started removing this coating. All in all, pretty impressive. And even more impressive is this stuff goes on. It's, it's coated at one thousandth of an inch. That's very, very thin. So this is a very strong and durable product and I would recommend it to anybody uh, looking to uh, protect uh, uh, automotive parts, firearm parts, et cetera, et cetera. Um, if you wanna learn more about Cerakote, you can always go to Cerakote.com, uh, visit uh, my website at uh, CoatingArms.com, and uh, a lot of good facts and answers to be uh, found uh, both those places. So um, I hope somebody that's looking at this and not sure about it found some, uh, um, found some answers, and uh, it helps somebody out there make a decision in uh, an upcoming coating situation. So uh, as usual, good luck with your projects.